Okay, welcome back. So I am super excited today. I just received my SIG competition trigger for my upcoming match. This is in my primary gun. Right now I have two X5 carry legions that I use. I have one primary and then I have a backup that I use for dry fire and the one that just gets all scuffed up. So here it is. You got the SIG armor koozie in here. Uh, drink holder. You got the magazine that I sent so that he could test fire and confirm function. I've got the gray guns grip module, modified grip module here. And then I've got the SIG armor trigger. Now the trigger visually isn't any different than the uh, normal X5 trigger. It's all internals that have been modified. So let's start by actually testing out my unmodified X5 and see what the trigger pull is on this. And see how they measure. I've got my Wheeler trigger pull scale here. And let's just give this a shot and see what they come in at. So the trigger on the X5 Legion is fine in its own right. Alright, so I got a pull of about three and a half pounds on the dot from the stock trigger. Let's try that again just for consistency. Reset the scale. Okay, I just got a shade under three and a half pounds there if you can see that. So that is, there's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> Let me just pull it on camera so you can kind of run through exactly what the stock trigger is like. Got my finger on the trigger. Got this amount of take up. Not a lot, but there's a little amount here. All right, I'm going to pull, pulling, break. Let's see if you can see the reset. Releasing, 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 release. There it goes. All right, once more. All right, so there is nothing wrong with that trigger, as you can tell. So let's try out the SIG Armor trigger and see what we get. All right, resetting. Resetting to zero, if you can see that. Setting at the base. It's so short. Okay. So if you can see that, I am right, almost dead on at two and a half pound trigger pull there. Let's try it again. Resetting it. Yep, exactly. Just a shade, shade uh, higher trigger pull. But yeah, right at two and a half pounds. So let me walk you through what this one is like. So if you remember, the other one had a bit of take up. Um, you pulled through, it broke. Uh, obviously it resets and it's ready to go again without the additional pull. But let's try this one. So I've got my finger on the trigger There's no, there's no take up. It looks like there is on camera maybe. There's a tiny, tiniest bit, but basically you're at the wall as soon as your trigger, as soon as your finger hits the trigger. Pulling. And that's the break. There's almost no trigger movement. So let's try the reset. Reset right there. Let's go through that once more. So basically, uh, the reason why I decided to go with SIG Armorer was because I had heard that he could make the X5 carry, or I mean X5 Legion trigger comparable to a custom 1911 trigger. And I've got to say, it's very close. Let's try that again. I'm at the wall. There's no take up. 
two and a half pounds. Barely any travel. And that's it right there. I am so happy right now. I cannot wait to take this out to the range and shoot it in the spring league. So basically the deal is I'm gonna be shooting this in spring leagues and I'll be able to test out reliability, durability, function, all of those good things. I'll probably have a first shots video with it coming soon where I, where I actually uh, take it to the range and sight it in. Um, as you can see, I've got to replace a plate. I took my Sig Romeo 3XL and I'm putting on a Trijicon SRO. So I've got to sight that in today or tomorrow actually. But yeah, Sig Armor Trigger. Highly, highly recommend based on just pulling it out of the box already. This is an amazing trigger. This is by far the best trigger I've ever had on a pistol, bar none, 100%. All right, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Uh, thanks to you all for joining me on the journey. Hope you found this informative. Let me know in the comments below what you think. LW Road, out.